Hey guys, what is up? We are looking at an absolute classic today. This is Star Wars Dark Forces, developed and published by LucasArts back in 1995. Still has a very positive review on Steam because it's a classic. Um, I'm playing the Force Engine Source port version of it, which I highly recommend if you want a modernized experience to get a modern resolution and just get the game looking absolutely spectacular and running super crisp. Um, they are hoping to extend the Source 4 engine to the Outlaws games too, which I wouldn't mind doing a video on in the future. Hasn't got there yet though. So we'll be jumping straight in. I'm going to play it hard. Um, first mission, straight up getting the plans for the Death Star to give to Princess Leia. Alright, so visually, I mean this game held up even without the source port to be honest. It's a beautiful looking game, but this modern modernized version is just so crisp. Um, the sounds are as spectacular as they were back in the day, obviously. We've got the original blaster sounds, etc. Music feels very familiar. All the voice lines are spot on. As far as gameplay goes, for those who have never seen or played this game, um, pretty stereotypical of boomer shooters back in the day. Four difference being, you actually have a life system. It's very unusual for these types of games. Um, the thing that makes it so unusual though, combining with the life system, is the fact that there is no quick saves. If you die, you are starting the level... Well, no, I don't think you do start from the beginning. I think it might have a checkpoint system? I'm not sure. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, because it means if you got a sketchy jump, or something, and you can't quick save just before doing it, then you are kind of screwed. Don't think that happens too often though. Uh, now, where is it? There is a key. Or. Night vision, F2. Or there is it just a headlight, F5. There we go. Um, warning about the source port, you can crouch. And I don't know if that was in the original. I'm thinking not. Because when I played the level after this one, I think I crouched and got into a spot I wasn't supposed to because I got stuck there and I had to restart the entire level. So that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, what are we doing? Did I end up getting the key after all that? I've, I've been very much on autopilot. Um, level design in general is okay. There are a few infamous levels, like most people I think remember and hate the sewer level, which I think is the third level. It's not a great deal of fun. But apart from that, a lot of them are pretty much bangers and straight on. I think a lot of people also feel that this game is, well, I guess it's a matter of opinion, but a lot of people, I would say, would think this first game is better than the second one. I think there are pretty mixed opinions on the second one. Oh, yes, I'll take that, thank you. I am authorized where I please. 
because I have a gun and that gives me the authorization I need. I do not regret playing on hard at the moment, <laughs> the first level. This game is not necessarily easy by any stretch. Now, I've missed a few secrets. Let me see if I can go back and quickly get them. tricky jumps here and I think there's a jump right here that will drive you absolutely insane. Oops, that's not where I want to go. I always get lost in this little one section for some reason. Not exactly the most complicated uh, thing but leave it to me to get completely lost. So yeah, this bit here, and this is what I was talking about where I would prefer to have a quick save. Because <laughs> this jump, you can't just walk and jump, you have to sprint jump, but yeah, you can kind of do it all in one movement, but it's very finicky. It took me like six tries when I tried to do it last time. Um... Secret. I actually found this the other day, for the first time ever, I think. I don't remember ever seeing this um, when I used to play it back in the day. I finished this like five or six years ago, I think. Playing on the Originidge. And even way before that, as a kid, I hired it out on the uh, PS1 version. And I didn't get very far at all, I think, because I was a dumb child. Tell you what, it actually used to spook me out, second level in particular, as a kid. Quite disturbing. Also, this is a really stupid secret. Because... We kill these terrifying drones. We get this amazing supercharge, which only lasts... I thought it was on time. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a bullet. In which case, that's not so bad. Um, okay, let's get out of here. See? Told you, I can get lost anywhere. In fact, I still think I'm going the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> And again, oh my god, I am so bad. Okay, no, I was right. It, that power-up is on time. And now... It's over. <laughs> so you get it after you kill all those enemies. Very strange. There is our beautiful, beautiful ship. And we're on to the next mission. Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. The Empire.
Emperor has approved your test demonstration, General Monk. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's War will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Dark Trooper, release. General, the Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. This is Tac Base to anybody out there. Please, we're under Imperial attack. There were no warning at all. Total devastation. They broke through our shield. They broke through our shield! Tac Base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of Stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new Stormtrooper that can take out a Rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you, to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. Alright, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander, and may the Force be with you. And we're just on to the second message, ah, uh, mission even. Um, yeah, so this one we have to put the, get the power back on, I think. Find and restart the hydroelectric power generator, find some clues to the Dark Trooper, and return to the landing area. And the whole kind of storyline revolves around the Dark Trooper. Um, I won't play too much of this level, because you've kind of seen everything there is, and I don't have much else to say. I will, however, show you um, the example of where to be careful uh, with the... Yeah, basically, don't ever crouch. This game isn't intended for you to crouch, and if you do, you will get stuck. But no, even today, like, compared to other 
even compared to other boomer shooters. This just feels so good. <laughs> when I was a kid, these skeletons scared the shit out of me. They were so fucked up. And I don't think I knew about that. Well, I don't even know if there was a headlamp, to be honest. I don't know if that's been added. But it probably wasn't in the PS1 version. And going through these areas in complete darkness, fighting things in the dark, it was just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Wow, I have to say, the um, number of enemies between hard and normal is uh, quite nuts, but this is definitely way more fun than normal. Helps that, you know, they're stormtroopers and they can't hit anything, so... Makes it a little bit easier. This game has a wide array of uh, classic Star Wars weapons and some new ones. You will never get tired. Also, this scene right here. I should have showed it off better. Actually, it would probably get hard in hard mode. In normal mode. You come in here. And there's just three people. In the dark. There's no lights on. Standing at the bar. Meanwhile, there's a skeleton on the bar. There are skeletons all over the ground. And you're just like, what are you three creeps doing standing in the darkness, standing at a bar, surrounded by skeletons? I mean, I know they're evil, but come on. Okay, how to end your game prematurely. Oh, I wonder if there's a secret down there. Oh, I don't seem to be able to see. Perhaps if I crouch. Hmm. Oh, well, no, it looks like a dead end. I guess I'll turn back. Oh. I, uh, I don't seem to be able to, uh, go back. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Well, this isn't how I was planning to end my video. But what better way to end my video to prove myself a fool? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, I've shown you all there is to Dark Forces anyway, and I think this is definitely a fine vintage that has held up today. You could easily play this today and probably another few years into the future. And I'm hopeful with the um, whole... Um, the release of the Star Wars IP, now that a lot of other people can start using it, I secretly hope someone makes another game like this, another pixely boomer shooter Star Wars game, that would be so good. Let's hope. And with that, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you played this back in the day and how much you loved it, let me know if you've never seen this before and you think it looks awesome. Um, I always appreciate feedback of course as well on how I'm doing, if you have any suggestions. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.